Hello and welcome back to Numenera. It's the earliest we've been all year. <laughs> we're coming to the end and now we're trying to build up the good habits just before we uh <laughs> just before we go away again. <laughs> How are we all doing? Good. Goodly. Good. Yeah. Mm. Ready to go. Mm. Excited mm. for some more mostly improvised adventures. <laughs> Always. It's slightly less improvised this time because I've had at least one uh, <laughs> one suggestion of what might come up. So, uh, without further ado, uh, let's watch some titles. Last time, we were on the Weir, the, the River Weir, which goes right from the Black Riage, uh, which splits the steadfast, the more quote-unquote civilised area of the, the, the Ninth World, uh, from the beyond this, um, some would say waste, some would say land of opportunity. <laughs> um, the more ridiculous stuff goes on in the beyond. You, you travelled months from the beyond over the Black Riage, and are now heading towards Key, the shining, uh, shining city on the sea, uh, the, the seat of the Amber Pope, the uh, heart of a lot of trade in uh, the Steadfast. Some might call it the capital of the Steadfast. I'm sure there would be a great many arguments from the various kingdoms up and down. Um, but yes, you're travelling on the Weir, uh, and you've had a couple of adventures. You uh, looked up and saw the stars going out until you realised that it was some kind of uh, recording, some uh, echo, which normally you'd only see up in the Navarine, but for some reason uh, appeared down here, realising it was a data sphere connection and connecting it to the giant, fulfilling uh, some of the promise that Kleji made. Um, you moved on and found a, a statue floating, a pumice-like statue uh, floating uh, in the river before realising it was connected to a larger, larger, much larger thing blocking, actually, the river in front of you. A little exploration found that it was a lithocraft, uh, a litho ship, whatever you want to call it, a um, ship designed to move through the ground, uh, be being propelled by this spire of stone from behind. Uh, something had gone wrong, the seals had been broken, and the stone, uh, the things that changed the stone uh, got inside, turning everything inside the machine into stone. Uh, you got inside and figured out what it was, but there wasn't really a way to move it. So you just dug a little trench, put a sign up, and moved on. <laughs> Down. Signage. Signage. <laughs> signage. We've learned the importance of signage. Mm -hmm. um, it's come up several times, actually. Generate from the it's yeah. become a passion project, let's face it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and Saving the ninth sandwich. world. <laughs> and we've learned that uh, purple apparently is the uh, <laughs> the colour for alarm. Here. <laughs> purple yeah. is evil. Everything made sandwich. There you <laughs> go. I like the idea on all of our signs. There's like a little purple triangle that means danger. <laughs> <laughs> it's instead of the red triangle. Yep. Everything yeah. Purple triangle. Yeah, exactly. What is the purple fruit? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, all you've got to do is get other people to agree that that's the danger colour. Exactly. Yeah. 
But anyway, uh, you are continuing down the way. This um, fairly sedate river. It's uh, not very fast flowing, not very uh, dangerous in any way. Uh, on a flat bottomed barge, uh, which uh, Matilda, your patron, I guess you might call her, um, has hired uh, to take the carriages, the Calactor, her family, and her passengers uh, onwards to Key. And so, I know one stop we want to make, uh, but there is uh, that, and that is Helen's stop, which is Weir Fall. Mm -hmm. uh, Elder, do you want to be in before or after Weir Fall? I think I was going to go after. Okay. In that case, uh, Helen's suggestion, Weirfall, this location, um, the river starts getting a little faster. Um, the normally sedate uh, pace uh, picks up a little bit as you're uh, borne down river. You can start to feel a bit of a, a directional breeze, not just the uh, wind uh, as it normally is. And you hear in the distance the uh, thundering uh, of waterfalls the uh, uh, bargeman doesn't seem too concerned about this uh, and as you approach he begins uh, making preparations he's counting money he's looking at a ledger uh, he's getting ready to pass pass through Weirfall you swiftly uh, arrive. Uh, the river has brought you very quickly uh, onto Weirfall. And. The Weirfall is a town. Uh, Weirfall is a town, yes. Yeah. Uh, Weirfall is a town built on several waterfalls. Um, waterfalls are not very easy for a barge to get through. And so. The speed of the barge is getting slightly concerning. The, the bargeman isn't too concerned. Uh, he's, you know, keeping an eye out, but not <coughs> surprised by this. Uh, until quite suddenly, uh, there is a very quick deceleration. Uh, where those of you who aren't ready stumble a bit forward. Um, the, the chocks uh, by the wheels of the cart kind of scrape a little bit along the deck. Um, and the barge stops, the water flows around it, and you can see you have stopped right at the edge of the water, the first waterfall. You can see several ahead of you, three in fact, uh, and rapids between them. Uh, have we just got stuck on something again? No, no, no not stuck this time. Uh, we've We've got to wait for the lift. The lift? Yeah. There's a lift. Where does the um, the lift take us? Down. Where, where do you think the lift would take us? Well, I suppose up or down would be... Yes, exactly. But it's down past the waterfalls. Yeah. But Trenton, does it have to be up or down? Could it not be left or right or maybe diagonally in many directions? Mm, I don't think you'd really lift things diagonally. It's not, it's it's more not a lift, lift then, it would be a... Yeah, it's a push and a pull. A scoot. Mm. A drag. There are many words for, 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 for moving <laughs> in other directions. So we're waiting yes. for, a, for a lift down to the bottom. Mm -hmm. Excuse my whimsical partners here. <laughs> uh, you say lift? Lift? You lift mean it? like somebody's going to come and like lift us and like float us down? Uh, I'm not entirely sure how it works. I wait here. I pay the toll. The barge gets moved down the waterfalls without having to Limits. Mm. Do we need to strap ourselves in? No, it's quite gentle. Uh, and you've done this before. Barge. 
Yeah, I've done it before. Yeah. It, I mean, how else are we going to use the weir? Didn't really think about it. Didn't think we'd have to trans traverse waterfalls. But um, you seem to know what you're doing. I'll sit back and have some pet jerky and just relax. I'm, I'm sorry, what... Is there a lift shaft? Like, where is the lift coming to? How do we get on well, we, or we, out? Of the... We wait here right. until someone tells us we can go forward. And then right. we go forward and go right. down the lift. Please, can I think, we... just, just, I, think, I think just have some pet jerky. And we're... Can we see uh... the lift? Like, when it's here, can we see it? Or are we just going forward into, like, space? Yeah, no, the, the water comes up to meet us. Oh, um. oh, okay. Okay, honestly, a bit more reassured. Maybe you should have led with that. Right. I, just... I was doing some very complicated maths in my head there, and I could not see how you do it, but if the water comes up, mm. maybe there's ways. It makes more sense. I think, I think we, just, we, just, we just wait. We just see what happens. It's no sense for water to come up. It's more sense for a mechanical machine to lift us up and drop us down carefully. Uh, you, you can tell I'm... this uh, this bargeman is like genuinely baffled that you've not done this before. Like you know, it's it's one of those where it's so simple to him that he doesn't even think to explain the, anything about it. Just like, how does this phone work? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh. How long has the lift been here? As long as I've been up and down the river. Hmm. Do we know who built it? Nope. Is it? Do you not know, or is it just not known? I pay my toll that I get down the river. Hmm. I mean, you can. You can step off and have a little wonder we've got. Uh, he kind of squints and looks down the river. Looks like there's someone coming up, so he might have to wait a little bit. No. Yes, I think I might, if that's okay. Yes, yeah. Uh, he will um, get the gangplank and uh, let you off onto the shore. Hmm. Any of you joining me, or am I going solo? Sure, let's go yeah. sightseeing. We haven't done that for a while. Uh, Ali is going to come with you, uh, as is... Um... Marin? Yes. Yeah, I think Marin would. Yeah. Ali and Marin are going to come I was going to ask, yeah. Arya should definitely get a drawing of this. This is cool. So, yeah. A, a pleasant stroll down the bank. Uh, lovely green grass. Uh, it's a little steep, and there there are points where it's definitely been like cut into the hill. Steps have been cut into the hill uh, to allow a little easier a descent by foot. Um, but it's a reasonably well trod path, uh, reasonably well maintained, and you come across the town of Weirfall uh, on this side of the river, um, the kind of south side of the river. Uh, there is Weirfall, and on the north side there is Boreg. Boreg. Um, Boreg's a little, not quite on the banks of the river, so you can see it, but it's a little further away. But Weirfall is built directly on the banks of this river. There's several layers of waterfall. As you come round to the front of the waterfall, uh, you can see um, several... Well, that's a very bad way to describe it. Uh, you can see what looks like um, a face. The water is kind of passing uh, down the side of it. Uh, like it's stuck in the middle of the waterfall. So, <clears throat> let me get this right. So, we're at the, the barges at the top. Yep. We've come down alongside, and there's a town where? At the next level down. Uh, there, there's a town at kind of all levels below. Right. Uh, at every level of the waterfall. Okay, Waterfalls. but on the bank of the waterfall, not within the waterfall. Correct, yes, on the banks. And then at the, okay. if we look to the first part, first waterfall that there is, we can see a face. Yeah, a face uh, protruding through. 
Um, looks to be some metal. Uh, not riveted, more like um, hammered. Like hammered bronzy kind of thing. Uh, with, uh, you know, kind of algae growing on it. Looks quite slippery. Um, Alia is obviously delighted by this. And is going to start drawing immediately. Just... Seems a weird thing to put in a waterfall. Ah, makes perfect sense. Probably. For the person who did it. Probably. Who? <laughs> who would that be? Someone who is very hot. See, you know what this place needs? Hmm. Signage. Telling <gasps> us about it. Mm. They've, they've missed here a trick. Here is the base statue of dot 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 dot. Exactly. Why would it be called dot 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 dot? Because that is a word that means um, a water god in this language that you've probably never heard of. It doesn't matter. Um, oh. it, it's everyone knows. And um, yeah, signage absolutely always. I have see. like a little like. A little booth here with some like information, maybe a, mm. a couple of books you could buy about it. That'd be nice. Mm. Why has Let's nobody see. done this before? I guess they don't get visitors like us very often mm. who actually never seen this before. Maybe let's Ooh, eat. They I... could, you could think people could make soap, little soap heads, <laughs> the same head. You can wash your hands in the waterfall, and it's like. You know, sorry, crazy. You were saying. Well, you 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 say that you can actually see um, in the rapids um, several people being. Well, I guess the word would be baptized. Obviously, yeah. that doesn't actually mean anything in this world. Um, but um, you know, dunked. robes dunked. There is someone doing the dunking. There is like a congregation. Um, yeah, there is uh, some kind of um, worship going on here. Ritual dunking. Yeah, ritual dunking. Are are they looking up at the face as they are dunking or oh, being yes. dunked? Oh yes. Mm. Ah. Uh, right. Do I do I know of any sort of religious cults or you know faiths that go yeah. for a go for a dunk? Give me a give me a roll. See see what you know about this. I have no skills in religion. I feel like. <laughs> I feel like that's a an oversight on your. <laughs> I, I th I've covered for you a couple is. of times, but not this time. Mm. Yeah, I think it's probably because like Ms. Mazia, like she was absolutely trained in this. She paid absolutely no attention. Um, I, it's shocking that I have got nothing. Um, <laughs> I have no like. No, it's just this is this is dreadful. Uh, and that's a nine. Yeah, so... Um, what you know about this place, specifically this place, is that there is a gap in knowledge here because the Order of Truth, which is the uh, Eon Priests, uh, particularly the Eon Priests and the Steadfast, um, don't have any presence here. They've kind of got a particular disdain for uh, the people here and how they treat the Numenera here. So kind of the Numenera is worshipped. They don't bother to think about how it works and they actively encourage people not to think about how it works. Or, sorry, discourage people from piercing the mystery. I was going to ask you, Letty, to see if you could just, you know, go across and see if there's anything but I think bearing in mind uh, Mazia's story about you know accidental law breaking due to not understanding religious practices maybe we should go and talk to those people getting ludicrously wet for no obvious reason should we wait until they're done I feel like interrupting them Either they'll get pissed off or someone will get too wet and then they'll drown or something. I don't know. It's pretty... It's not too fast a river, but I, health and safety, you know? Hmm. 
you're not quite in the town yet. You're, you're kind of still halfway up this waterfall. You've just got a bit of an oblique angle on it, and you're looking down on the uh, the town and the proceedings thereon. Let's have a one. Let's have a mosey down and mm. see. Maybe they'll be done by the time we get there. Uh... We could probably just ask somebody in the town mm. about the ritual dunking at the temple of dot 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 dot. Oh, is that the descendant of dot dot dot? Yes. Or is it the predecessor? It's the younger. There's another dot uh. every generation. Mm. Again, thought it was common knowledge. Well, let's let's head down to the the town and yeah. yeah. See if you got any carved soap. Exactly, or postcards at least. Who did I send a postcard to? You guys, I guess. <laughs> so yes. I haven't received a postcard in ages. You haven't had an address. Oh yeah. Maybe I'll have loads waiting for me. I'm sure we all will. So downwards. Yeah. Uh, it gets uh, wetter as you go downwards. The waterfall, the spray of the waterfall is um, uh, kind of soaking the, the the side as you you walk down. An algae growing on the uh, the carved stone, so you have to watch your step a little bit. Um, but again, still fairly well maintained. You, you can see bits that get cleared off regularly. Um, as you uh, come into the town, these uh, stone-built houses um, with slate tile roofs um, designed very much to keep the water out. Uh, the the mist kind of from the waterfalls and the rapids uh, lies in the air so no matter where you walk you're going to get like you know, that, that damp hair when it's been somewhat drizzling all day and you've just been walking through it. Like, not not wet, but not dry. Not super pleasant for a lot of people. But everyone else here seems to not not bothered by it. There, aren't mu- there isn't much in the way of uh, head coverings. Um, the people milling about don't seem too bothered by it at all. You Is can see a small fish a market. Sorry? Is it quite hot at the moment? Uh, the weather's warm, but the uh, the mist is quite cool still. Nice. Uh, and actually, the sun's out, so you can see um, rainbows through the, the mist throughout the town. Uh, kind of whichever whichever direction you look, there's some rainbow in your, uh, in your vision. Cool. So nice. Think... Oh, sorry. Oh, just this is nice. Yeah, we should do this more. Just I'll take a break every now and then. Head down to Wherefall, chill out in the rainbows. Yeah. Go for a dunk. Do you know what? When Matilda's not telling us to do stuff, this is what it's like, isn't it? Like we're relaxed, hmm. we're chills, we get to take in the beautiful scenery. There's no purple stuff. No purple stuff. No need oh, for. Danger signs. I mean, it's it's just safe, and boring, and 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 and, and happy and chill, don't they? Mm. We're not trying to harvest any ancient artifacts that people are going to get mad at. It's nice. Mm. Uh, contrary to the rest of your kind of relaxed demeanors, um, uh, Philo, by the way, stayed <clears throat> up at the top. Um, mm. Alia is stressed. Because the damp air is not good for her notebook. It is not good for her uh, drawings. And she's trying very hard to keep it together. <laughs> oh, wait. I could probably do something about this. Uh, oh, yeah. Hold on. Um, and I've got, my, I've got my ward skill, which is I have a shield of energy around me at all times, which is the sort of gravitational. So I feel like I've been pushing the water away from myself so I stay dry. <laughs> Um, and I feel like with my um, hedge magic, I'm just sort of going to keep the water off her notebooks and sort of keep it as like sort of a background. Like, I will concentrate on this. Let me know if anything gets wet. But if you need it out, just let me know and I'll I'll try and keep the water off it. 
yeah no she is like grinning ear to ear uh gives you a, a hug um oh and uh keeps drawing uh not trying to incorporate the the slightly blotchy bit where the the ink didn't or the charcoal had been like smudged uh trying to like incorporate it into the thing but still still struggling a bit but definitely a lot happier nice you see the really confusing of like effect of droplets sort of like just where droplets have been falling that you see sort of like an like a radiating like uh like the, where the droplets are sort of like drifting like gravitationally away it looks sort of like one of those like um mandelbrot sort of pictures or like uh it, it's very confusing to mm. look at it's like yeah and when Merrin uh reaches over to touch the the notebook uh oh, it like shoves them away <laughs> there's like now a damp handprint on the notebook uh, <laughs> I bet, I bet we could like suspend a bunch and then like Marin's gonna put his hand through and like rain just like falls like in chunks. <laughs> That'd be so good. Yeah. So yeah. Where would you like to go in the town? Uh from above you could see kind of this section of the town has a, a small uh market square kind of thing. Uh, a lot of the buildings look fairly similar, but there was a uh kind of ceremonial-ish building nearer the, the banks and uh, what looked like a couple of um, more uh, like like boathouse style buildings uh, quite near to the waterfall as well uh, you can see looking down uh, that the two other settlements uh, that make up Weirfall um, similar uh, kind of layout <clears throat> well uh Okay, we're Taurus, we're Taurus, we're Taurus, we want some information. Market? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Market. Yeah, it is a uh, you know, pleasant little market. Uh not not super, super busy. Uh but there's animals about, there's, you know, wicker baskets being sold, there's clothes being sold, there's a, uh, you know, Everything you'd you'd expect to need in a place like this, um, particularly a, a good trade in uh, fresh fish. Mm-hmm. You're you're past midday, I think. No, you're not quite at midday. Uh, so, you know the the, the fish uh, supply has gone down a little bit, but there's still a fair amount to be had, and you can still hear uh, conversation going on. Is there anyone on the barge been catching fish as we've been going along? Yeah, yeah, uh, Philo Philo has. Has. <laughs> Oh, true, he's been diving in, isn't he? Yeah. yeah. Kalichi's, like, looking at the food and going, like, oh, it does look delicious, but, like, is that is that slightly treacherous to Philo? Like, they're bound to be cooking lunch. Forget, like, he's been getting all the fish. Like, there's a whole, like, sort of internal monologue about, like, oh really tempted but oh that's betrayal going on uh, uh, uh excuse me uh sir uh i oh, i hey. wonder if you'd be able to help uh uh the four of us please oh, we're new to weirful Ooh, um, well you want to try the weirful fish then is the weirful fish different to other fish oh, it comes from weirful it uh swims in the holy waters so should oh be, uh... so there holy fish well the fish aren't holy the water's holy it's not being in the water never mind um is well, there do, some... do you become holy by going in a holy building well some is the holy building the the face in the waterfall no no that's just the face uh the watches face over us uh no 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 name it's just the face uh face of we for all the face of I don't know it's just the face so not dot 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 or dot 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 uh, the, the language that I was saying it's you know it's it I'll explain another time okay um actually we were just wondering is there some sort of I don't know tourist information type place where we can get information about this beautiful town and and the face in the waterfall and the local 
washing practices? Well, I mean, you can mask around. Uh, that's probably the best you're going to get. Um, well, you, you could try and try and find some time with Yalakor, but uh, I, th I don't think you'd uh, have much luck there. She's a she's a very busy lady. Uh, sorry, who? Uh, Yalakor. She is the uh, the priest. Oh, would would that be the person who's currently swishing in a lot of water with other people swishing in a lot of water? Oh, yes, yes, it's a uh, yeah, it's um, a, re a day for revelations. So uh, people go in and have some revelations. Have Ooh. you have you been in have revelations? Oh, it never worked for me, uh, but you know, it doesn't work for everyone. Mm. When you Type say rev revelations on mm. these, uh, solutions to problems usually. You you go in with a question, and uh, sometimes you'll get an answer. Uh, I've like I've never got an answer. Um, That's nice. Mm. So have you lived here all your life? No, no, I'm a transplant. I uh, well, fisherman by trade. Uh, didn't really like living by the sea. I know, a bit worse for a fisherman, but uh, wanted to try some river life. And uh, Werefall's a, a nice place. I can get out early on the boats, uh, get up to the the top, and uh, get the fishing done. And then... Uh, so you fish the at the top of the waterfall, not at the bottom of the waterfall? Well, I mean, it's closer. Uh, oh, of course. That's, yes. But, uh, you know, the fish come up and downstream, so it's... Uh, Mm. Yeah, when the water's up, they uh, come up the water. Mm. Well, I, I, I think, I think we could all do with a few answers to our problems. I think maybe seeing Yalako might be a good idea if Yalako has time. Well, like I said, uh, you'll you'll be lucky to find time with her, but uh, she's usually pretty. Um, you know, pretty pretty and friendly with new faces. Uh, we can ask and see. It's a bit weird that you've uh, come here not really known. And you know, it's um normally we get the uh, the penitent coming through. The uh, we don't get too many people just stopping by. It's a bit too damp for people. Uh, oh, we've travelled a long way and um, just passing through. Hmm. Well, not much place for uh, boats to stop, so. Yeah, mm. people pass through. That's about it. Mm. Definitely one of the less dangerous places we've been, so it's just quite cozy for us. <laughs> oh, have you uh, come right down from uh, from Threest? Come across the Black Riage. We are in the in the beyond. It oh, was... blimey! When 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 he said dangerous, I thought you meant uh, you know stabbed in an alley, dangerous. No, uh, think moving we mountain wish. snail. Type oh. stuff. Yeah, we wish some of the some of the stuff we've seen out there. It's a bit hairy. Oh, well then. Will you catch a share a story? We've um, if, if you're gonna be around for a little while, I'm I'm not sure how long you're gonna be. But there's a a very good uh, tavern on, on the second level. Get oh. some good drinks. That sure, your stories good. Oh well. Um, <clears throat> are you able to grill any of this fish here and now? Uh, not here now. Uh, the grills don't. They, they, I mean, they get up to temperature, but it takes a lot of energy. You can uh, do it indoors. Uh, but if you um, if you buy one, I, I can send it down to the tavern and get them to do it for you. Yes. Sure. Two, yeah. two, two. Of course. Four, four, four oh. pieces of tavern. <laughs> uh, call call it a call it a shin. No, call it call it two for the grilling, and then uh, I'll buy you a drink if you tell me a good story later. Well, that sounds absolutely charming. Here, two, two. Actually, have three. Uh, you Are you sure? Very helpful. Yeah, oh, positively, positively helpful. Oh, you're making Thank very you so good. much. Very good friends. Here. Uh, we will see you in the tavern maybe in an hour or two. Of course, I'll be there. Oh. Should be uh, cleared out by then. See, his stock is um, fairly low. Um, he he's got uh, mostly kind of you know smallish fish like snapper type size mm. fish. 
uh, porgy, that's the word. I'm looking for uh, little porgies. Mm. He um, wraps it up in some waxed paper and uh, puts it to the side, uh, writes a little uh, label on it for himself. Mm. Excellent. Well, uh, Mazia, did you work out which way we need to go? Oh, um, that way. Excellent. Thank you. Oh, I didn't get a name. Sorry. Ah, uh, I'm Berman. Berman. Uh, Cleegy, uh Letty, Trenton, Mazia. A pleasure to meet you. We'll we'll see you in the tavern soon. Pleasure to meet you too. Cleechy, uh, <laughs> uh, uh, join. Maybe not with the name. <laughs> oh yes. Sorry. Just I don't. I haven't. But I've been thinking about aliases. I haven't come up with one that I'm comfortable with yet, but we'll get there, I'm sure. Right. Yes, sorry. Didn't did not even think. Apologies. That's all right. Oh, uh, right then. Right, Mazia, lead the way. Right, Yettle. <laughs> or Chell. Or maybe something that's oh, well, we'll a bit more pronounced. It. We'll workshop it mm, over then. a pint. Hmm. <laughs> We might find ins- it might be your revelation. Not a bad show. Hmm. Right, which way, Mazir? That way. I, th- I thought. Okay. Just saying. Which way does anyway. Mazir point? <laughs> Mazir just picks whichever direction she thinks looks the most interesting at that second. There's probably like a bird down there or something, um, and she's <laughs> she's not like. It's not that she doesn't want to go to the pub. She just doesn't. Just not necessarily like she's happy just to wander around for a bit first, um, but she's pretty sure that Cleegie would say no. So, you know, we're just we're just going to wander around for a while. I think it might be that I go the direction of the of the inn, but that's not that's not really what Missy is going for. <laughs> but we're not aiming for that the holy building. Who knows? <laughs> oh, I, yeah, you're right. You're probably. It's probably like a little labyrinth around here, isn't it? Yeah, I'm sorry, Mizzy, I shouldn't question. After you then, right? Just hmm. go, on, yeah, go on a little walk around. I'm sure we'll pass it, like, at least twice. And then, <laughs> you know, I imagine there's people outside. There's, you know, particularly in Revelation season or Revelation day. Um, it's a day for Revelation. Mm. I think Letty wants to pick up a couple bits while we're in the market. Uh, I think she wants to pick up some candles and some incenses. So I'm yeah. just going to spend a couple of shins like picking that up. Yeah, yeah. Um, candles and incenses. Uh, the wicks are all waxed so they don't get wet. Mm. Um, mm. They've uh, put a lot of thought into living in a very damp place. <laughs> but yeah, it's easy enough to pick up for a, for a shin. Mm. Uh, I'm imagining there's, there's probably going to be like uh, something where like there's like crystals where you put water in it and then it fizzes and then incense pours out and it'd be like a like a cold nice. incense type thing instead of burning it's like a yeah. sodium type deal that's great I really like that mm. uh, so much so that I'm going to give you an experience point for that because that is yes. actually great ah, that's really... <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say inspiration but we don't have inspiration in this game no. uh, <laughs> Uh, oh yeah, LJ. Inspiration is a thing in D and D that you can reward, <laughs> which is basically no. a reroll. Um, right, right, right. So right, the equivalent right. is get advantage XP. Or something. Okay. Yeah. Mm, Mizia, I feel like we've passed this bit before. We have. All right. Is there a reason we are doing a lap of the place? It's a walking tour. Right, but we don't know what anything is. It's a walking visual tour. Right. I don't want to interfere with the walking visual tour, but is it possible to walk where we visually saw the people being bathed, washed, drowned? Having revelations, that's what I'm looking for. The reason you notice you'd gone past this place three times is because it's 
very different from every other building. It is uh, tarred. So where all the other buildings are brick and mortar, this one seems to be sticks and tar. Very old, almost ancient fashion Ooh. building. Has it got any signs outside of it? Uh, nope. But it does have uh, no door. No door. No door, just an archway. Oh, okay. Literally thought we would walked oh, round no, it yeah, about, yeah. and yeah. then it was just like, "There's no way in." I mean, to be honest, I've done that many times to you, so that's not an unreasonable <laughs> thing to suggest. Uh, can I can I peek wet through the, the sort of archway? Is there any sign outside saying this is the house of or something? No, there's no signs. We've no been signs. through. There's no signage. There's a lack <laughs> of signage in this place. Yeah, no signage is the default. Unless I make specific note of the sign, there is no signage. Um, Roll for signs. <laughs> um, yeah, so you poke your head around and, and look inside, uh, and as your eyes adjust to the dark interior, uh, there's no kind of lighting going on. Um, it's a very simple um, podium uh, with you know a few rows of seats. It's not a very big building. It is... Uh, somewhat oval shaped uh, so kind of longer than it is wide uh, and the seats are arrayed you know, vague rows but they're all loose seats so they're not like pews or anything uh, it's just more of a you know, presentation hall or something a meeting house kind of yeah, thing. meeting house, that would be the way to put it okay. there's no one in there uh, no one in there, no uh, but there are uh yeah, yeah. You, you can see um, bundles of clothes and bags kind of pushed up against the wall. Oh, okay. So maybe this is the changing room for people that are going to have a revelation. Do um, we? Should we undress and just? I feel that's. Well, <laughs> only only maybe once we know where we're going. Go and oh, just yeah. like undress and do laps in town. I mean, I, I don't anyway. Um, not this time. Um, Again, anyway. Yeah, exactly. There was this anyway. Um, I'm going to see if there are any um, like doors on the floor, like trap doors or anything that leads like to a tunnel to a. Yeah, give me a little investigation. <laughs> Oop, 18. I have perception. There's a untrained perception. That's Don't like... you have that dark vision thing as well? If it's dark in there. Maybe I mean, it's not, not dark in there, it's just darker oh, than right. outside. Uh, so, you know, once your eyes get used to it, it's uh, easy to see. It's, you know, it's the, yeah, that's, the I, differential. I, 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 um, but yeah, an 18 with your skill, you absolutely find the trapdoor. Um, brilliant. Which is. Uh, just behind the lectern mm -hmm. and uh, you lift it up and look down and there's a kind of a rickety ladder yep. down uh, it is actually dark in there uh, you'd have to have some light source if you uh, were to go down there but yeah I am um, well I, I think I think this is the the route to to the dunking hole um, should we go or should we wait to be invited? Well, it's kind of hard to wait to be invited. There's, there's no one really here to invite us. Well, should and we? Mizzi, you haven't seen any other way we can get where they're going, that where they're being bathed. More. No, this way looks more fun. All right, then. Uh, well, somebody got some light. Hey, uh, I'll, I'll light up the way. Various light sources. Yeah. On my person. Uh, these kind of dazzlingly bright sunlight, uh, <laughs> as usual. So it takes you a second to get used to it again, just the other way. <laughs> and uh, yeah, down the ladder you go. Who, who's going down first? Probably Mzia. Uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you find yourself in. Um, 
a the only way to describe it is a cavern it's uh reasonably expansive um definitely much larger than the building above and stretching out uh with your sense of direction uh kind of southwards uh, towards the um toward the second waterfall what you see at the end of the cavern is a hand a left hand uh glinting off it it's the kind of bronze hammered material of the face uh there's the um whole place is you know stone lined but definitely just dirt mud um probably would have to be maintained uh and you can see footprints outside the the little stone path towards the hand so there, there have been a fair amount of people down here recently. How big is the hand, please? Uh, the face is some, like, ten feet tall. The hand is, you know, in proportion to the face. Yeah. So yeah. five, eight feet. Yeah. And is it... Yeah, can we... Mazir, can you work out roughly where we are in relation to the face? And is this hand where a left hand would be? If a person was... If, if, the, if this was a statue. Can I add? Is that... Would that be about right? Uh, yeah, give me, <clears throat> give me a roll for it. Uh, I'm only going to call this difficulty two. Uh, right. I am trained in visual perception yeah. of noticing things uh, and change. I get a free um, uh, free edge in that uh, free level effort that's the one but I'm reading edge so yeah um, yeah so no need to roll um, yeah it's it's maybe a little you know the proportions aren't quite right but you know it, it's about yeah. the place you'd expect it to be what sort of like how high is he like I suppose is his hand like just sort of like down or is it is he going for a high five uh, or yeah if if you were to um imagine this figure being whole uh it's like it's lying on a bed like head propped up and hand just kind of laying flat so the the hand is flat uh you can stand in the palm if you want to Ooh. I would very much like to. Okay. <laughs> um, is it, it's not... Never mind. mind. Is Alia still with us? Uh, Alia has stayed outside to draw the um, the building, uh, but we'll probably be joining you shortly uh, once she's got that down. Okay. She is inside the building, though, because if Letty's gone down, uh, yeah. <laughs> needs to keep the, uh, the paper dry. So, nothing happens when there's ears in the hand. No. Looking at the hand, does it look warm? Like, does it look like people have touched it recently? You know how, like, some statues, hmm. you know, some there's some statues in the UK that, like, people think are lucky, and so any time you go past them, there's, like, one, like, really clean bit of, yep. like, where people touch. Does it look like that? Like, wherever there's a dog, and they're like, we have to pet the dog. You have to pet the dog, ears. yeah. Yeah, uh, the, the thumb and the, the palm of the hand are out there look uh, kind of worn uh, as if you know you're using the thumb to climb into the hand and sit there Jen, can you, can you work out what that's made of i almost certainly can oh. beep, beep, beep. scan it and see if it is if it is bronze or something else yeah it is it is bronze um but it does have uh, interior it does have some numenera, some wires in it. Uh, it's oh. definitely a. It doesn't look to be an automaton, though. Okay. Just some kind of stylized thing. Hmm. I don't think it, 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 it might. It might move. There might be some mechanics 
involved, but it doesn't have its own free will or anything like that. So I don't think you're going to get crushed to death immediately if you stand in that hand. Good, because I am currently standing in it. You are. So I'm watching it. Don't worry. Yeah, uh, from your scan, you can tell that there's no kind of power going through it at all. There's no power going through it at all. Yeah, fine. Oh, good. Um, okay. Okay, Isn't... so this once was a moving thing, which is now... Uh, no, no, it's it's never been moving. Okay. Uh, it's always been kind of this flat... Uh, you know, just a, just a, a statue shell around some okay. technology. Okay. Hmm. Sorry, some new era. We don't use the word technology here. Okay. Yeah, but what did that techno? What did that new era do? Mm. Well, I mean, where's Marin? Marin? Oh yeah. Marin? Is he? A, where did Marin go? Sorry, was I meant to be watching him? <laughs> No, uh, well, I sort of made the right. Uh... Not with Alia. I thought he was. I hope he's with Alia. If Marin does come down here, is it? I recommend that you, just in case, get off the hands mm. before Marin touches it. That's a good idea, Trent. Just in case. I would like Marin to come down and touch the hand. Yeah. So would I. Okay. Well, let me let me just. I'll go back up the ladder and put my ladder and pop my head up. Let's just uh, see if he's up there. So uh, you bump into Alia, basically ready to come down. Um, oh, uh, is there anything good down there? Is it is it worth doing the ladder? Oh, you'll love it. Oh, definitely, definitely something good. to draw. Um, where's Marin? She looks around. Uh. She uh, walks out the door and has a look around. Um, I'm not sure. Right. Hmm. Right. Right, I'll tell you what. You go down, are you... Hold on a sec. <clears throat> Trenton, can you give Ali a hand down, please? Or Letty? Or, or Mizzy? Any one of you give... Right, you go down, and uh, let me just see if I can uh, track down Mer in a minute. Uh, why am I? Anyway, yeah. yes. Um, yeah, she she climbs down. Um, she doesn't need too much help, but she is doing it with one hand because she's carrying gear down. Um, but yeah, she is excited by the the mm. the ambiance of the mm. place. Uh, <laughs> um, so Cleegie's gonna have a look round for Merrin. Yeah, how how are you? How are you looking for Marin? Uh, like, give me a methodology or a place you think they might be. Uh, I am going to uh, start from the the archway of the building, mm -hmm. and then basically start circling out. Okay. Um, can can Mazir give some helpful advice? It doesn't give you an asset or anything. Just <laughs> just listen to the sounds of people saying, "Why is my thing broken?" <laughs> then you'll find him. Like that's all you need. Yeah. Right. So using using that advice and and then sort of spiraling out, um, I am going to look for him. And I'm just. I mean, I can. I've got. I've got fleet of foot, so I can do it like a bit speedier than. You know, normal. I'm not just ambling. I'm actually like putting some effort into. Yeah going around and I guess in terms of like other skills uh, oh can I use insight because I sort of know what Merrin gets up to so if I basically go right anything boring I'll rule out yeah if there's somewhere he might be able to cause trouble I'm ruling it in because in my head, Merrin and Mazir are sort of similar, <laughs> which is why I sort of thought that Mazir would. That was yes. <clears throat> it's not actually a, a terrible description of Merrin. Uh, <laughs> I have him as in my notes as 
uh, shy to begin with, but definitely a little troublemaker. Mm, uh, mm. <laughs> yes. And you've 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 known Marin long enough to uh, have seen his, uh, you know, cheeky mm. side. Is uh, yeah. All Especially right. now he knows he can break stuff. Yeah. Oh, so with all of that, and I rolled an eleven. Uh, an eleven though uh, is good enough to find him without too much trouble. Um, you find him uh, near the banks. Uh, this uh, hut is nearish the banks, uh, but you don't have to go too far to find him uh, cross-legged watching the uh, proceedings. Oh, Merrin. He looks up at oh. you. I must have learnt some reasonably basic sign language by now, after our I'm going to take a roll for it. Oh, excellent. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Other people have spent experience points for this, so... Yes, that it. is true. <laughs> that is true. All right, I'm going to put in some eff- effort into it. Uh, so I'll put in two levels of effort. Um, yeah, two levels of effort is enough to get, like, basic, basic yeah. stuff across. Okay. Um, and then... And it's a 16, all right? So... Yeah, so you, you understand that he's... He's just watching. He's not messing with them yet. Mm. Yet, <laughs> I'm just. You don't know I'm, if that yet was, you know, you hmm. um, <laughs> guessing. Yeah, I think I did add it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm like, I'll do the thumbs up and then like, basically do very bad signage. Basically say, "Come with me. So We're getting closer to them." He, he's he's not deaf. He just doesn't speak. Oh god, damn it! Yeah, sorry, yeah. I got it confused. I mean, it's been All a while right, since so, we've uh, like interacted with Marin, so yeah. yeah. Mm. Um. So yeah, I will just go look. Uh, well, yeah, just come with us. We we we're getting closer to them. We found a way down. We can actually. What? Hey, he gestures and like. Oh, I'm also closer to them. Yes, but like you're like, away above. We're gonna be like next to them. Oh. No, like. The 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 bank isn't like steps. They're they're on the th- the same level as you. Like they're just a little ways. Oh. Down like to the actual bank of the river. Like you can so we're literally them. walk there now. Yeah, you are underneath them with the ladder. Hmm. Oh. Like they, they were below I you when we you were halfway up the like... the waterfall, yeah, and now we're you're going like a tier of the waterfall. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But yeah. Okay. Oh. I mean, so we could just walk across, is what you're saying. Well, let's go. I mean, I don't know why Mazir couldn't come this way, right? We'd have to do ladders and trap doors. And... Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, so the two of you will uh, head on. Um, the three of you and Alia. Uh, Alia finishes up her sketch. Um, what are the, the three of you doing uh, in the meantime? Does the cavern keep on going? Uh, no, it stops at the hand. Oh. Literally just seems to be the entrance to this place. That's a little anticlimactic. Mm. It's cool, though. Hmm. What do you reckon mm. it does? I don't know. I really don't know. There's... Can I work out what the tech... The... The new Minari does, or did? Uh, you can try. Uh, it's can it's a little hard this? Yeah. doing Sorry. it through the scan, uh, so it's going to have a couple of um, the opposite. Of but do I think that that so it's, there's the hand coming? It's basically is it coming out of the wall, or is it surrounded by like wall? Uh, so it, it's kind of laid on the the ground. Um, okay. There's not even much in the way of wrist. You're not. Entirely sure of it's actually a full statue. Okay, so the, so, so where the wrist is is like a wall coming out of it, is there? So it's called, it's no, no. Um, so if if I if this is you, the hand is yeah. there, and this is the back wall. Oh, right. So uh, it's literally just like laying there on the the floor. I was picturing okay. this way around instead of this way. Around. Yeah, it's because yeah, I was yeah. doing that to you. Um, mm-hmm. Whereas yeah. I actually I was doing it to me, not to you. Uh, <laughs> Chuckle, chuckle, vision. Um, Sorry. 
Um, okay. But yeah it, yeah, it will end up being a, an eight difficulty. Um, okay. I have understanding Numenera. Yep. Seven. I um, I'm just trying to think if it would be easier if I move some of the rocks out of the way, but that might take a while. I'm I'm helping with some, my understanding Numenera as well. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cool. And I'll tell you everything that I can see through my scan. Um. Other than that, I have, yeah, planning, metalworking, electrical machines. Not in this case, I don't think. Okay. So, so that's that six. Bring, it brings it down to a six, so that it still needs 18. It does. Put some effort in. Yeah. I will. Now that you know, you don't have to keep your points quite as. Uh... <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Okay, I'll put three levels of effort in. Mm -hmm. So down to three, uh, nine or more. Okay, here we go. There's 19. 19, <laughs> wow. So yes, um, this hand uh, is not actually a nice source of Numenera. It isn't a you know, a computational thing. It is purely transfer. It is uh, the, well, born for a better word, appendage of some other larger Numenera machine. Okay. The thing this hand seems to transfer is some scanning capability. Oh. It, the way the sensors are laid out, uh, the scanning is kind of focused th uh, maybe four, three or four feet above the center of the palm, um, about where your head would be if you sat cross-legged on it. Mm. Can, I, can I sit cross-legged on it? Yep. Your head is about where the scanning would happen. Mm. It's not active at the moment. Uh needs commands from somewhere else to activate. But I can use distant activation to activate or deactivate any machine I can see with a short range. You can't see the machine. Ah, okay. This Wait. is uh, just like... Uh, yeah. I yeah. understand. <clears throat> Might be like the a remote security sensor, effectively. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking of. I couldn't think of the words. Um, <laughs> Interesting. Well, I feel like I've seen this site. Yeah. If we find a machine, then we can come back and we can yeah. make it scan Mazir's head. I'd like that. Hmm. I think we always. <laughs> um, I just going out on a on a limb, but I I, I assume the machine is in the head. Let's go and have a look at the head. We should. Let's we do should that. find Cleegy, and I hope Cleegy's found Merrin as well. I'm sh yeah. He's a responsible guy, I guess. Okay, let's go back upstairs. Uh, yeah, so uh, who's who goes first upstairs? Um, um, Nazir should go last, because you've got the light. Mm, I guess Letty. So yeah, Letty is the first to see the um, slightly uh, disapproving face of the person standing in the centre of the hall, uh, drenched, arms crossed in uh, these uh, kind of pale green robes that everyone was wearing, like frowning at you as you, you come up. She uh, speaks in a surprisingly deep voice. Who are you to be down there? Jory, we were looking around. Uh, we were hoping to talk to uh, Yala, or I can't remember the name. Yalakor. Yalakor. So, thank you. Thanks, Mazia. Uh, There's uh, more about, of you down there. Uh, the, just just the four of us. We were just hoping to four speak to Yalakor. Okay. Yeah. We're not, we're not trying to, you know, get in on anyone's business down there. I'm aware there's a lot of holy sites around here. It's beautiful down there. Mm. Um, we are hoping to speak about maybe getting some of that 
uh, getting involved in the Revelation Day. It sounds like a really interesting custom you've got here. Well, first things first, you're too late. And second things second, oh. you've trespassed. You just go into the... Like, yeah, the the building is fine, but that was a closed... Tra uh. All right, everyone out, everyone out. Everyone out. Uh, kind of stands over you as you all uh, climb out. Sorry, 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 Mr. Yarkov. I'm not... I'm not Yarkov. Sorry. Mm. Sorry. Walk out. Did you introduce us? I'm out. Well, I'm... going to. You, the way you sound that makes it sound like a bad thing. I do... I really apologise. If there's any way I can make up for being, being down there... We were just trying to find where she was. There wasn't a lock on there or anything. We assumed that it was fine to go down because this building's a public building of some sort. Um, remind me of how you're all dressed. Uh, I am dressed in... Oh, I have a variety of outfits. <laughs> uh, where, where's my list of outfits? Uh, I'm in a dark green summer dress. Okay. I think I'm back in my huge, my uh, my yellow coat, oh. and brown cord slacks, and flashing shoes. Do you uh, wear any kind of uh, symbols of um, Vino or uh, any anything like um, that? I don't think so. No, no, okay. I wouldn't. I see. Uh I think Mazia is dressed like relatively casually for for, for anyone um, it's her normal outfit sort of like you know trousers with lots of pockets a top um, but she does as always she does have the beads in her hair which I think probably are sort of part of the her her faith hmm. um, so I think that's you know anyone if, if people know that that's what they wear yeah. then so, uh, Letty, you're going to give me uh, a persuasion roll uh, from your lovely nice. little uh, uh, conversation there. Um, you're That's getting exactly what I was hoping you'd say. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you, you're getting a uh, setback. I've forgotten what it's called. That's really important. Hinder. 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 Hindrance. Thank you. Uh, a hindrance um, because uh, she's clocked that somebody's there from like one of these information gathering places um, oh, nice. so that will mm. pop it up to a 5 total okay so I'm trained in persuasion mm -hmm. I'm trained in bluffing and deception which it could be either of those um, what, what are you bluffing I'm, about? I'm saying we just went down there because we, we saw it was open it was a public building whereas I'm pretty sure Letty knew that we weren't supposed to be in there <laughs> and also even Letty if it wasn't yeah. we would have absolutely have broken in um... yeah Letty is a trained <laughs> thief so she's used to she was like we absolutely shouldn't be here down to a three um and uh, effort, effort, effort. yeah I'm gonna put in two levels of effort three or more Okay. A twelve. Very nice. Yeah. So her um her frown, which uh, kind of deepens slightly, seeing the the beads on in Mazia's hair, um, lessens somewhat as you uh, you know explain the situation. Um, but she's. She's not going to just let you go. Like, she basically says, Okay, Yalakor probably won't be long. You all... We're all going to sit tight here, and we're going to have a conversation about this. I'm sure there's nothing gone wrong. I'm sure it's all fine. But, you know, just to be sure. She, uh... Sure, sounds good. She uh, goes over to one of her bundles of clothes, um, quite unashamedly takes the, the robe off, she's kind of wearing small clothes underneath, and uh, gets toweled off and uh, back in her 
her normal dress, which is very um, kind of practical, uh, you know, uh, dungarees type thing, uh, almost wader like, uh, definitely waxed. Um, mm-hmm. She's uh, a woman who works with her hands all day, it seems. Um, back to uh, Merin and Cleegy. What are you doing? So, what's happened to the Dunkers, Dunkies? Oh, we're, we're joining you immediately, uh, like immediately where you we left off. No, oh, yeah, that's literally what I'm asking. Oh, what is right, happening, what's happening to the now? Dunkers? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. What's happening? Yes, um, yeah. The um, the the amount of uh, soaked people is slightly well, is definitely higher than the amount of dry people. Um, getting through them fairly quickly. The um, the ritual seems to be uh, fairly perfunctory, actually. Um, you can see the uh, the person doing the dunking uh, is wearing a bronze mask uh, and looks like bronze gloves as well. Um, mm. The ritual is basically you go there, cross your arms, hand hand dunk out and that's it um everyone comes out like you know deep breath um some people come out you know blabbering about the the revelation they've had some people uh come out very you know quiet and stoic some people come out disappointed uh, it seems uh, there's a huge range of reactions uh to what happens under the water um it is there a tail end to the queue waiting to be dunked? Uh, it's less of a queue and more just a, a group. Yeah, okay. Can I go up to one of the ones that are waiting to be dunked and just go, yeah. oh, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, <clears throat> yes. might one ask whether anyone can take part in this or or do you need to do something uh, special you, beforehand? You needed, to, you needed to be here in the morning. Oh, Right. Sorry, it's uh, too late, and I don't know if it's going to be a day for revelations tomorrow. Oh, does it happen ad hoc then? Uh, yeah. Um, Yalakor seems to be able to to read the the currents. Oh, is that Yalakor in there? Yeah, yeah. Right. Um, okay. As you're a little close to the river now, you can see this portion of the river is flowing uphill. Hmm. The waterfalls are still going down, but this portion of the river is flowing uphill. And you can see, a bit further down, uh, the middle section of the river is a bit longer than you remember it being. And you can see a barge now making its way up the river. Hmm. Uh, no, it is uh, one coming up the river. Hmm. Interesting. Very interesting. Um, thank you, thank you for your time. Good, good, good dunking. Yeah, sure. Um, they, uh, wander off, uh, to be dunked. Hmm. I mean, I think Cleegy's gonna sort of loiter with intent on mm. the bank side. Um, and basically is, <laughs> I don't know. It's just going to sort of stand there and watch and wait yeah. until they've dunked all the people mm. that they can see. And then they're sort of going to step off the bank and walk towards that person once they've dunked everybody else in front of them. Because mm. he wouldn't want to cute jump. That'd be rude. Right. Um, yeah. Uh, so while you're watching, I'm going to ask for a little insight roll. Ooh. Proper insight roll. Yeah. Uh, okay, dokie. And in terms of insight into the people having it or the person doing it? Uh, the people having it. Uh, the person doing it is very hard to read because they're wearing a bronze yeah. mask. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. So, okay. So I've got some insight. I have got... Um, I'm really struggling to make any of this stuff work. Um... Yeah, so I'll put, again, two levels of effort in. 
Okay. Uh, that's a ten. Yeah, a, a ten um, is uh, enough to glean that most of the people coming out talking about their uh, revelations even some of the people coming out being very stoic about their revelations are lying. They haven't had a revelation. They just want to, to seem like they have. Mm. But not everyone is lying. There are some people who genuinely have had some kind of experience. It's hard to tell what kind of experience just from the, the reaction that's come up, but definitely some... From from my knowledge from the time of like the whispers and and the, the stuff related around that hmm. does it look like it's as mysterious as receiving a whisper or is it does it look like it's more sort of fundamental like this is left or this is right sort of thing with a 10 i'm not sure you could get that kind of detail okay um Fair enough. even with your your assets, yeah. Mm. Some some of those who are um, truthful come out looking, you know, very solid, like they know what they need to do next. Mm. Um, some do come out puzzled. Some come out disappointed. Yeah, you know, it's a it's a real range. Yeah, and the ones that are obviously lying, or I think are obviously yeah. lying, do they seem to be of a certain type? Like, are they? Uh, do they look like the more wealthy of the town, or the ones that maybe would look more fervent? I don't know how to. I'm, I'm going to ask for a separate role for this uh, okay. because this isn't quite insight as much as trying to, you know, figure out what kind of person they are. They're all dressed in the same robes. That's uh, yeah, part okay. of point. But yeah, um... all right. So I'll just do a plain role with two levels of effort again. Cool. Get out of okay, two so. levels of effort, and that's fourteen. Yeah, a uh, fourteen. Yeah, you 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 think that these people want to add credence to their opinions. Mm. They're using this as a form of leverage. Yes. Mm. Or just uh, like adding weight to their opinions. Mm. Not necessarily yeah. leverage. But yeah, no. Mm. The mm. priest doesn't okay. seem to be contradicting them, though. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, so I, th I think Cleegy observes all of this and um, just, like I say, we'll just wait until they have obviously done everybody else. And then once once it looks like they have finished what they're doing, he's going to start wading in towards them. Sure, yeah. Um, so when the last one uh, comes up, uh, looking disappointed that they didn't get anything, um, the, the priest starts uh, wading with the last person towards the bank as you uh, kind of head toward uh, the, the priest. Takes off a, a glove. You see now, not a glove as such um, doesn't bend at all. It's literally just like a metal hand. Mm. Um, and uh, lifts the, the mask off and uh, looks at you a little confused. Uh, I'm afraid we're done for the revelations today. Uh, you are too late. I am terribly sorry. Oh, uh, yes. Uh, so I understand. I, I apologise. I had no idea this was happening. Um, I may... Clearly. Uh, yes. I mean, I'm a traveller into these parts. We're, we're, we're just done. passing. We're just passing through. And yes. um, I was wondering if I might be so bold as to ask you to tell us a little bit about it, but maybe not while we're actually in the water. Maybe I can take you somewhere, get you something to eat or drink, and would you be do me the honour of telling me a bit about the life here and, 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 and what this Revelation Day involves? And... Uh, she... Um... And with the mask off, uh, you, and a bit closer, you can see the the figure, and presume uh, she's got kind of blonde, uh, wispy hair. Um, mm. She's fairly old. You, you think probably like into seventies, uh, mm -hmm. 
feels a little fragile um, mm. but with a kind of solidity behind the eyes you know mm. that that kind of sharpness yeah um yeah sharpness isn't the right word solidity is definitely the right word mm. as she uh looks you up and down kind of appraises you uh, i'd like to get a um something social uh, from you yes it is well, pleasant thank uh, you <laughs> <laughs> i mean everything i get to ask uh okay <laughs> So obviously, I am trained in that, specialised in that even, hmm. um, and yeah. Again, I'll do uh, same question to you actually about your clothes. Um, I mean, Cleegy will be effectively topless, so you know, the the metal, the blue metal metallic sort of skin will be seen, hmm. and he'll be in his usual sort of kilt type affair um okay so so no kind of obvious ties to any organization no i mean he looks pretty weird but um no so uh so no hindrances for that no and and the clipboard i had left on the on the barge because i did i had recognized it was going to be quite damp okay you know it's a precious clipboard Uh, so yeah, uh, so specialised pleasant social interaction, two level, levels of effort again, because you know that's why I forward, and that's a nine as well. Okay, yeah, she will, um, you know, appraising look up and down, slight nod, and uh, you know, a smile and an indication um, to the uh, to the hut, um, and as you. Uh, head towards the hut um, and everyone else in the hut waits for uh, this Yalakor uh, turning uh, to turn up I think it's time for a little break Mm -hmm. we've uh, started early enough that it actually feels normal to have a break I know, wow so Mm -hmm. we will see you in ten minutes or so see you in a bit See see you soon And welcome back. Lovely little break. Uh, I got myself a little whiskey. <laughs> last time. Last time. 15 minutes ago. <gasps> Cleegy was being walked uh, back to the hall uh, by presumably Yalakor, the, the priest of this place. Uh, she giving you a, an appraising look seem to you know, you seem to pass whatever bar she had in her mind and uh, is leading you back to the uh, the meeting place. Is Merrin following or have I lost Merrin again because I <laughs> took my arse the ball? Uh, no, Merrin is, uh, is following okay. um, but you know at a sullen distance. <laughs> <laughs> um and so, uh, you find yourself back in the meeting room, uh, where this uh, burly lady has uh, kept your friends uh, sat on chairs. There's, you know, been some small talk. Uh, the uh, Letty's words seem to have uh, mollified her somewhat, uh, but she's not letting you go without speaking to Yalakor, who steps in and looks. That the people sat down. Looks at Cleegy. Looks at the people sat down. Do you know each other? Definitely. Yeah, we came with each other. Cleegy was down here earlier. <laughs> right. Okay. Well, um. Are, are you Yellowcore? Just. Yes. Yes, I am. Ah, oh, good. Uh, please, please sit. We we will. Um, we've just got to do one small uh, ritual to finish, uh, and then I you will have my full attention. Thank you, thank you. Um, everyone uh, gets changed out of the robes, uh, uh, including uh, Yalakor, who um, 
you can see uh, when she gets undressed, she's uh, got kind of green tinged fingers and uh, like well hands like um, you know copper oxidization green mm-hmm. um, and a, a bit of a you know greenish face. It's it's very subtle until you until you see like the rest of her body uh, mm. and then it's a little more obvious. Um, she gets changed basically back into the same dress but dry. Um, these kind of pale green robes. Uh, and stands at the front of the room and starts giving a, a sermon of sorts. The face, the hand, the foot. They've blessed you this day. Some of you. Some of you have had revelations. This knowledge is not objective truth. This knowledge is you. This knowledge is the face's understanding of you. This knowledge is what you want to do, what you think will work. Pass through the face's understanding of the world. The face has opened its mouth and spoken to some of you. Others view it has not. And if I hear that those of you who have not heard are claiming kind of gives some pointed looks around the room at uh, some of the ones that you spotted, Kaliji. Um But not at some of the more subtle ones. There will be consequences. They may not be immediately obvious. But the face does suffuse the world. The face can see. The hand can give, and the hand can take. Take the, take the knowledge, and use it wisely. And kind of nods at them all, uh, says a, a word in a language that you do not understand. Uh, kind of a final blessing over them all, and uh, everyone uh, heads off. I'm terribly sorry. I always have to give that warning. There are some who like to take advantage of the face's kindness. Is there a way for you to tell who saw something and didn't? Or is it just... uh... Beyond my understanding of people, I've been doing this for a very long time, and I've seen a lot of people, and I've had a lot of evidence of the people who lie about this kind of thing I tend to be able to spot them but the warning is obviously a a wide net because then there may be people I haven't caught hopefully the warning will keep them from the consequences are there set consequences or is it different for every person or uh, it, it differs sometimes it is economic sometimes it is tragedy I don't deign to know what the face thinks is appropriate right so you've uh, been to see the hand yes do apologise if we overstepped we didn't realize we were just trying to find you so that we could ask about we heard that the revelation ceremony was happening we just wanted to see if we could you know come down and maybe experience it um and yeah we hopped down hoping that you'd be down there or but i think we misunderstood the whole arrangement here so i do apologize um it's beautiful down there um and uh, yeah the hand is such an elegant it is very elegant. 
Um, just a, a little administrative note from Ed. Um, I the when you bumped into the the woman up top, uh, that was actually a GM intrusion. I just never actually said it was. Oh. Um, uh, okay. <laughs> so um, Letty gets an XP because you were the first up the ladder and mm. wants somebody else for doing something. Uh, give one to Mzee for putting her head in a <laughs> in a hand zone. Cool. Espe- um, especially now I've heard that it can give and it can take away. <laughs> mm, exactly. So, <clears throat> um, again, I I echo Leylander's Le- 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 uh, uh, comment. I, we are truly sorry. We 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 did not mean to intrude on something so sacred to you. Uh, no, no, it is. Um, it's not your, not your fault. Um, gives a, a sharp look to the the woman. That was meant to be cover. If you were going to have a revelation today, and the woman, kind of, slightly chastised, lowers her eyes and mumbles an apology. It's it's not your fault. Um, I I don't I don't begrudge your curiosity. Of course, um, I just... I worry for your safety. I, I certainly hope nothing befell you down there. N- no, uh... I don't think so. I, 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 I would have been surprised if anything had. Uh, the focus was on the, <laughs> the penitent, so... Um... Um, can I ask a question about... Um... Uh, Yalakor. Has, has Yalakor got anything on her feet? Uh, she does not. Okay. No, she is uh, actually barefoot. Okay. Um, but you do notice uh, that her feet do have the same green tinge as yeah. her hands okay. and face. If okay. that's what you're asking about. Yeah, 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 yeah exactly. Alright, if... Um, and, and the helm, the, the the mask has been put aside, uh, and the, and the gloves have as well. Uh, yes, so um, she has the the mask on a kind of like string around her neck, so it sits under her face. Oh, okay, so and the, the gloves have just been put away in uh, a a box. Okay. Um, okay. Nothing for now. That's great. Thanks. So, would you mind if we asked you a few questions? Uh, about the face, the hands, the foot. You you can ask questions. I'm I'm not sure the answers will be satisfying to you. They aren't usually for travellers who don't know about them. So maybe maybe actually you could tell us a little bit about yourself. Like how did you come to be here and the uh, I don't know interpreter, I guess, of, of the face. Yes, yes. I was... I was, uh... orphaned. Early. Oh. I... Uh, there, there was, uh... waterfalls are surprisingly difficult to escape. And so I was the only survivor of a terrible, terrible accident. I don't remember too much of the situation. But I was brought ashore safely. I searching for safety. I found the uh, the cavern with the hand, and I curled up to sleep on it. And when I awoke and popped my head out of the the hole, I saw the face behind the fall. It was it was much further behind the fall than it is now. Um, I. It spoke to me, not in words, 
not in sound, not in language, in peace, in harmony. Like a soothing presence. Yes, a presence. That is a a very good way to put it. And so I lived here. I knew enough we were travellers, so I knew enough to build a how to build a shelter, how to fish, how to forage. And I took care of travellers. I began to talk with the the face. Again, not in so many words, but Mm. I convinced it to move the waterfalls and allow safer passage through here, connecting faraway Threest with Key. The first time those had been connected by water. The the toll keeps the town thriving. Uh, the town has built up, obviously, around the, the the place, and the story spreads, and people come for revelations, for health, for days of rebuilding of the hardest, uh, the the lowest portion. Uh, where the foot is you go in one person you come out different days of revelation are the easiest to understand you go in not knowing something you come out knowing something days of health are again easy to understand but the mechanism is hard to believe and revelation is through the face and Health is through the hand. The right hand. Is there a left hand too? Uh, the left hand is underneath us. I'm sure you saw. Oh, of course. Of course. And the, and the foot is... Is used for, for what? Uh, the left hand is... Well, um, how much do you know of anatomy? Medium. The left hand is closest connected to the heart. And so the left hand can understand you. And so part of the ritual of revelations is sitting in the left hand and allowing the the face to understand you. And then the face can speak the answers it finds, if it indeed finds any, when you are submerged. When the face speaks to you, is it within your mind? See, these are the questions that aren't satisfying answers for you. The the face speaks to my being, to my soul. Have you always had this maps? No, no, this was made. Uh, it's a... It's, uh, ding, ding. Mm. A, a facsimile. It, uh, it became part of the, the ritual. The, the, the rituals are comforting to a lot of people. They make it easier to understand. And for you, how do you find the rituals? Pleasant enough. It's a lot to give yourself to not only the one that guides your soul, but also to the people that wish to to receive its guidance. I have a good life here. I have friends. I help people. Mm. Why would I change that i'm happy and sorry just to clarify so you came here first and the town has built up around you yes yes uh this um this was well 
it's been rebuilt several times, but this was the, the spot I first uh, created my shelter. Very impressive work. Oh, there, there are many hands to this. You say that the um, the mask, the being, the being that it, does, does it have a name? I've I I felt it disrespectful to give it a name, and it never gave me a name. So I we just use the descriptions. Okay. Um, if, if you've heard about us from outside, it's usually. Um, you know the the face of Weirful, the bronze face of Weirful, the hands of Weirful. Again, similarly, it, it's just of Weirful. How subtly can I get out the um, data sphere detector thing? How much effort do you want to put into it? As in, like, how obvious? How big is it? It's a it's a little handheld disc. So like you you can probably get it out suddenly. I'm just going to ask for a roll. Um, <clears throat> excellent, excellent. And it doesn't beep or anything like that, does it? Uh, it's a light. No, no. It it only um, lights up and floats. That's quite conspicuous. Yeah. yeah um, Cleechy has been sort of watching Mazia. Uh, has been looking at Trenton, but has also been watching Mazia, trying to gauge Mazia's reaction. And, like, you know, because Cleegee's thinking data sphere, mm, but it, this doesn't feel like data sphere stuff. Is this like related to Mazia's God? So, has actually been trying to gauge what Mazia's been thinking. So, once he sees Mazia sort of going for the pocket that now everybody literally knows contains the giant's compass, he will. He will do. He will start talking. Maybe start moving towards the the priestess and um, to aid, basically to aid as a distraction. There's quite a lot of other people in this room, though, as well, aren't there? Uh, they, yeah. They've kind of filtered out um, mm. over the okay. last you know, ten minutes or so. Mm. Is the burly grumpy lady still here? Yes, uh, she seems to to work for Yalakol. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, Mazia's definitely got her hand in, like, in the pocket, and she's sort of, like, playing with it, but she really, like, she's very aware that that, like, she doesn't want to disrespect, mm. you know, their religion and everything. Yeah. Um, she, it, you know, she's definitely still going to test it, but she's not going to, she's, she doesn't want to do it in front of them. Um, she's not sure if it's data sphere, but you know, better safe than sorry. That she would like to check. You know, mm. it does sound a bit supernatural, and I think Mizir probably like understands when Yelikov was talking about like it speaks to you without actually using words. Like Mizir understands how that feels, mm. um, and you know, this seems like a. a they're sharing information. Okay, it's kind of weird the way they do it, but sure, Mazia's all for it. So yeah, she doesn't she she doesn't want to offend these people. But if at any point she thinks she can get away with doing it, she absolutely will. I mean, you, um, you could probably get away with it, like in your pocket. Like it it moves to indicate the direction as well as lighting up. So. You could definitely like make a roll, and it wouldn't be like impossible. Basically, it, it would be somewhere in you know four or five, something like that. Well, if well, I have no system as here trying this as well. I mean, if you're paying any attention whatsoever, I probably like, would. You you yeah. know which hand Mazia's pockets in. I probably would because I've been Mazzia's looking at uh, everybody. So so, please, do, if you look at Trenton, it's a face of pure cynicism. Mm. Uh, at this, um, but I will if I see Mazir fiddling around with the data sphere, then I will just move to stand in the way of Mazir and, Gr and Grumpy Lady just to block the line of sight. Okay. Mm. Um, yeah, and and Letty, uh, sorry, Letty, apologies, Letty. The <laughs> no, no, <laughs> Cleegy. <laughs> oh. oh, I was I was uh, thinking about something else. Uh, so Cleegee, I think, will seek to move forward and go, 
I... You're right. I don't necessarily understand your connection with the face and, and, and what it gives you. But is there a way of you blessing me that might allow me to have a glimpse of what it does? The, the day for revelations has, well, it is still the day, but the revelations have finished. And what I don't know what tomorrow will bring. What determines what, what sort of day it will be in terms of... <laughs> Again, the answer is not going to be satisfying. The face does. Oh, of course. And... But the so the face always gives you information. It doesn't. You can't tell it what you want and such. I haven't found a way for it to. No, that's not quite true. I it, it understands us, particularly us who have sat in the hand, but it doesn't. Not that it doesn't care for us. It's got higher concerns than our petty grievances. Can I see if... Does she genuinely believe this? Uh, or... Give me a, an insight kind of role. Yeah, so the, the or is... Is she coming up with... Like, is she hiding something? Basically, it's what I'm looking for. Does she kind of does she have a secret, and she's covering it with a religion, kind of religious, spiritual kind of uh, veneer? Yeah, give me a roll. Um, I'm not, that is a natural twenty, but I have no skills on that at all. It's a natural twenty, though. Um, so she believes it. Okay. But you're not sure she's always believed it. Okay. Okay. That's fine. And actually quite interesting as well. Okay. I I, th I think I've yeah, there's this in that case the cynicism drops a little bit and it's but it, it's a bit of a respect that, you know, she's not hiding something here, she's not covering it as a veneer to Possibly, possibly not covering it with a veneer to like get power and, and influence, but um, if she believes it and it brings her comfort and and stuff, then that's okay. I'll let that lie. Um, but I still want to know how it works. When, when you were communing with the face and asked it to sort of push its face further forward through the waterfall. How long did it take for the face to do that? Uh, so, Danny, you're going to get a bit more information from your Natural 20 Insight. Um, oh. As she tells the, the story of um, how this happened, how, you know, she pleaded and prayed and sat in the hand and uh, asked over days, over weeks the waterfall began to move backwards um, and that's that's the, the story like she just pleaded and it happened and she figured out that she could perform rituals to have the waterfall move backwards and forwards and eventually up and down creating the lifts allowing the passage Danny what you're getting is slight embarrassment these are the things she's not being entirely truthful about the early stories okay um. and uh, how, how long ago was this I will have been 10 half a century or more half a century N well <laughs> more more 
to lose so much and then build such a great thing around around you. How? Have I? Not to be rude. Have you thought about at any point a successor at some point over over a half a century? That's a long, long time for anyone to be doing the same thing. I've I've given some thought to it. It's uh, somewhat the population here. While some are devout, none seem to have had the connection that I have. Mm. I'm planning to stick around for a while longer. That'll be That's time. Good. That'll be time. I was just curious how that would. If that's something that you are that you know about ahead of time, or it's something you're still thinking about, so that. Yeah. Yes, I'm I'm hoping that it isn't a a situation where a disaster has to happen. Mm. Uh, Danny, you are clocking that as a um not not so much as a lie, just as a she's not she does she has no idea how it works. Yeah, okay. She's obviously and, got some kind of interface. And yet, often the greatest change comes out of the greatest tragedies. But this is such a safe place now. This is such a... a joyful place. You can see Letty getting almost, like, visibly... You can see that she's getting, like, emotional and kind of up, upset a little bit. Um, but she's sort of holding that back, I think, because this, yeah, you don't know why, I guess. <laughs> Ed knows why. <laughs> I don't really know what to do with this. Um, I mean, I feel, I feel rude. I mean, we've, we've disrupted your day. Maybe we can... Hardly. This is hardly the most disruptive day of revelations we've had. Well, maybe we can... I've arranged for some food to be laid on at the tavern. Maybe you would like to join us and we can oh. talk in more comfortable surroundings with some food and drink in front of us. Of... Well, reconnection is successful. I think we're back. I think we yeah. are. We're good. I don't know quite when it reconnected, so I don't know how much of my swearing they heard. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh, but that's going to be annoying for the VOD. Oh, uh, well, we'll let him figure it out. Is it any minute? Yeah. Uh, where um, was I? Um, I asked what is the most disruptive day. Yes, uh, the most disruptive day. Uh, the most disruptive day uh, was someone who uh, she she uh, tells the story actually as as you kind of begin to walk and talk a bit. Um, she tells the story of uh, a day when someone came and burst out of the water. It's a day of revelations. Burst out of the water, claiming to be. Uh, the the new voice of the face and there was like a minor religious schism uh, <laughs> um, which was which was you know soothed over in time a couple couple of days there was maybe a, a there was another day of revelations where uh, several people like several um, important people made the decision to stick with Yalakor um, and Yalakor says she believes that uh, the person who, you know, came up and said they were the voice of face was making it up to try and, you know, get power. Perhaps they were even an Aeon priest in disguise trying to mm. disrupt. Yeah, yeah. Uh, try to disprove their, uh, you know, religion. 
they break it have down. Have you had people just kind of, you know, randomly sitting in the hands trying to get some, 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 some information without, you know, you being there to guide them? I'm sure it's happened, but I haven't been there. <laughs> we we no, found people. Not, not like the face and the hands curse people that try and do that forever by making them, you know, making their feet explode or anything like that. I. This is a, a hard. I, I genuinely don't believe that someone genuinely comes looking for help they will you know be good i i can't i can't I can imagine that would happen um before we leave the area can i sort of as they turn to leave can i can i just get the sort of data sphere thing out and yeah just absolutely quick quick test just uh yeah no no connection whatsoever no signal around here no data sphere <laughs> very interesting she kind of um, heads off uh, on her like a few extra ministrations uh, she, she's quite happy for you to follow her if you want to uh, see what she does but she'll just go about her day and meet you in the, the tavern later otherwise how um, easy is, is it for me to get close to the face are there barriers is there any uh, it's it's not easy just because it's in the middle of a waterfall. Like that's really the the major. We had problem. someone who could say hover over. You know, I was going to say, oh, that, so easy. <laughs> would that sort of solve that problem? I mean, yes, but also you'd be hovering in front of their like major religious symbol. Um, hmm. And actually, at the moment, it's underwater because the uh, the water has raised for the other barge to head off mm -hmm. uh, and you can see a, a few people dressed in uh, the robes uh, performing whatever ritual it is uh, needed for the uh, the raising and the lowering of the lift uh, transferring to the other barge and your barge and bargemen begin to make your way across you've got probably you know an hour or two left in the town so not tons of time Okay. Um, I, sorry. Yeah. I was going to say, I don't particularly want to follow her. I'd rather <clears throat> go head to the tavern so I can talk to these guys. That yeah. would be what Cleegy would want, but. I mean, we can split they, the party. They are their own people, after all. Well, didn't you just invite her for dinner? Yeah. But she's, gonna, but she's not going straight to the tavern. She's doing a couple of things first. Oh, uh, okay. So Cleegy's yeah, plan is. We'll just meet her there. Yeah. Cool. Ed, can I use intelligent interface to try and speak telepathically with any intelligent machine within long range? You Aim absolutely can. at the face. I, I, get, I guess I can get within long range? Uh, oh, yeah. You, you can get within long range, yeah. that That's um, just, you know, hiking up to the, the side where you first saw the face. Okay, great. Um, well, I wouldn't do that, and I'll meet you guys in the tavern later. Unless you want mm -hmm. to, I'm just gonna try and. Can I can I come something. along? Absolutely, yeah. So just curious about yeah. this giant face thing, really. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna to go there, and I'm just gonna um, um, change my ports, do my thing with my glasses, and try and get and, and try and interface with this machine, go through various frequencies, and just try and establish some kind of contact with this machine how um, discreet are you being about this not at all okay um not at all because i think it's my i i would think it's my right to do this i think at this point uh because i don't feel like it is blasphemous at all because this is a machine i'm convinced this is a machine yeah so, um, I, I just want to see if I can make contact. Yeah, so um, the 
woman who you bumped into in the uh, in the hut mm. does follow you at a distance mm-hmm. as she kind of clocks your going nearer the face. You do manage to um, you know get your ports and stuff sorted, um, mm. but Mazia, you notice her stride lengthens as she notices you do that. Uh, I would like for an intellect roll to see if you can get this done before she comes and physically stops you. Okay. Um... Is that including using the ability as well? Uh, This is just a roll so you can use the ability. Okay. Okay. Um, I, but, if I've noticed her, then I don't want. I, I want to move really, really quickly, yeah. so I'm going to put a level of effort in on this. Lovely. Um, can I can I give him a hand by? Mazir is absolutely watching her. You know, as soon as she noticed, she would abs- Mazir would absolutely get in between her, like her and Trenton, and will will absolutely try and stop her from getting to Trenton. Like no one, no one touches Trenton. <laughs> That's that's not how this works. No, I'm also not doing anything. I'm not harming anything, you know. Yeah. I'm taking atmospheric readings to look at the weather for the our ongoing journey. Okay. Mm. And I rolled a nine. Okay. Um, but with a level of effort and an asset and any skills useful for doing it quickly. Um. Planning and organizing. I know what I want to do. And I've. You've planned and organised everything into so it's super easy to get out of your pockets because you yeah, because exactly on the high court I knew exactly is. where I was going to go and what I was going to do and you know actually that, that's that's good enough for me. Yeah. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Thanks, Ed. Um, so sorry, mental maths. I'm trying to remember the number I gave it. I think I gave it a a four. So three two, one. Yeah, you've definitely passed. Um, there is no intelligence. Okay. Okay. Um, the woman kind of bellows up. What are you doing up there? The weather will be... Wait. Wait. It's going to be very similar to today. Probably slightly more rainy tomorrow. Deception. Got nothing on that. I'm not even gonna put effort in. And that is a four. I so think it would be best if you were back on the tomorrow. I think it would be best if you stayed on the barge. Well, we're just gonna get some food and then we'll be on our way. Hmm. I'll join you. Uh, and you now have a, a, basically a permanent tail through the town. Nice. Um, if, like, I imagine that sort of Trenton sort of like gave Mazir a sign that he couldn't yeah. contact anything. Well, you would have seen me go through various things and just gone, yeah. no. Uh, can Mazir just sort of like sit down and she's going to try and connect with it in her way, which is meditation and just staring directly at the sun. So, um, the woman, like, is going to start physically, you know, by the shoulder, pulling I'm gonna you I'm going to sit up. down on a rock and go, oh, oh, I'm having, oh, just give me five minutes, just five minutes, I'm just having one of my turns. <laughs> it's another deception roll. Uh, you're being hindered because she's caught you lying to her once. Put some effort in, Danny. Put some bloody put, effort in. But this is effort this time, so I would have put two levels of effort. Okay. Um, possible asset that my sister Steve, who hasn't who hasn't been brought up here, but it is written down, I think. Yeah. My sister Steve uh, is an actress in a comedy troupe called The Echoes of Echoes. And she does satirical <laughs> dramas in the city, and we would have repracticed together uh, in uh, in an improv troupe. Cool, good for you. <laughs> Ten. 
Uh, so with two levels of effort, she kind of Ugh. looks at you, shakes her head, and seems to buy this one. I put my hand on her shoulder. Just... Just... Wait, do you have any water? <laughs> She has a canteen in her bag, and she she does share it. Like put a little bit on my head. <laughs> she she doesn't seem, you know, mean. She doesn't seem like she just seems annoyed. Every time, she, if she if she at all goes towards Mazia, I'm going to groan slightly louder. <laughs> <laughs> um, Mazia, uh, you're you're being hindered by this because there is someone, you know, being overbearing and. Yeah. trying to get you to move on but you are going to get to make the roll uh, I would like to use my steadfast which is very apt Is my faith gives me uh, I can deal with stress and I'd like to not have that depth yes indeed piece. absolutely um, I'm very good at staring at the sun yeah 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 super eyes wide <laughs> yep as I said I have absolutely no skill in religion um, <laughs> communing with my god nothing at all <laughs> Um, but she's she's just gonna she's gonna do it anyway. But um, she's 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 focused. Sorry. Effort. Put some bloody effort in. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I will. I will. Okay, I'll put I'll put my three point of effort in, and I will put some more effort in as well. I will put two points of effort in. Okay. Ooh, that's a 19. That's very satisfying. I was going to re-roll, but I'm probably not going to re-roll that. <laughs> so you're trying to connect with any kind of intelligence around here, whether or not it's in the machine. Pretty much, yeah. You know, she's trying to... She's sending out, like, positive vibes. Um sort of you know she's trying to sort of clear her mind and see if you know she sat in the hand she did sit in the hand and she's just trying to see if anything if she gets any impulses you know she knows she she listened to um Yalika. she knows kind of what or you know she heard what Yalika felt she's trying to pick up on some of that yeah um so you you do receive some vibes back But they are reflections. They're the more you think about it, and with a nineteen, uh, you realise it's kind of a um, an idiomotor response, but mentally, uh, there's probably a word for that. Um, uh, so y you almost believe you're going to feel something, so you do, mm. um, and you kind of identify as that and disentangle it from the real <coughs> external um, feeling which you've uh, you've had before um, yeah there's something here that's like makes it easier to have that but it's definitely uh, reflective from you mm. that's what 19 will get you I wonder it's interesting because that's sort of echoes what she was saying that it's how you know it's when people have revelations it's not you know it's a subjective truth it's it's what they think deep down and stuff um who knows it's very interesting there's probably a book on it somewhere i'll make a note so this is like astrology where people read, read things in to oh yeah or, or like uh you know when you when you stood at a vending machine you're like i don't know which chocolate bar i want and you're like i'm gonna flip a coin and then when you flip the coin you immediately know which one you want and mm -hmm. regardless of what it actually lands you're like heads i want a tails and then yeah, you know, <laughs> yeah. And then, like, then you follow the coin because that's the contract you made with yourself and you feel bad for the rest of the day because you've got the wrong chocolate bar <laughs> no i would absolutely just get the chocolate bar that i wanted who cares what the coin says? <laughs> I very much used to. Uh, <laughs> you have to have the bounty. Oh. 
Oh no. What a disappointment. Uh, Don't talk about chocolate. But anyway, um, the as the barge uh, moves down the the column of water, uh, now that you're kind of sort of paying attention to it, it's kind of majestic. It is true. It's like a lock without the walls and the doors. Like the water just mm-hmm. falls and bears the boat down with it. Um, and again, the 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 river has now reversed flow to be back down river. Uh, allowing the the barge to float quite easily uh, across to the next uh, bit. That's there are a few people in uh, these pale green robes uh, doing some kind of ritual, uh, you know, incantations, specific words. Uh, seems to match the language that Yalika spoke with at the end of the uh, you know, little warning sermon. There seems to be some kind of ritual which does this. Um, yeah, and uh, you all end up in the tavern, I presume, uh, unless there's anything else you're doing in between. Nope. Tavern's good. Let's get to yeah, just start with BG. It's <laughs> <laughs> vibing. Well, luckily, Cleegy <laughs> bought a lot of fish. It turned out well. Yeah. And yeah, so they're. The um, the feel in this tavern is pretty communal. Uh, you've uh, the connection between the the top level and the mid level is uh, a much better maintained set of stairs uh, down the side of the uh, you know what actually seems to be a crafted cliff face. Uh, they've made some right angles, made made it flat, easy to build on. Uh, there's pulleys and stuff to move stuff up and down. Uh, a bit more kind of towny than the top level, which is, you know, it's stone buildings, but they're still a bit, you know, odd angles. Here is a little more structured. And yeah, you, you find yourself in a fairly pleasant little tavern. Food around, uh, smell of uh, grilled fish, yeah. some vegetables grown. They've, they've got a you know, farmland, it's good land for farming. Got a river nearby, good for irrigation. Um, so yeah, lots got of fresh Constant food. Morrison, you know that like Morrison's like vegetable mister that they used to have? Yeah. <laughs> permanently. Exactly, exactly. Uh, so for the last kind of hour or so, until you need to get back on the barge, uh, what are you trying to ascertain from the people? I think Letty just wants to have a nice meal in the chat. Yeah, yeah. I think I think that's, that's the stage I'm at now as well. Um, I think Trenton's like, well, this isn't a machine that I can interface with. I really don't care at the moment. It's not like anyone's being swindled here, probably. So I'll just let them be. It's just strange, and I can't work it out. But yeah, as, as far as you can tell, like there's there's no paying for a day of revelations yeah. there's no like it's just the the cost i guess of staying here you know mm-hmm. tavern rooms and meals yeah and i think Cleji would just ask a little bit more about why the foot uh day that sounds wrong sounds like you're going to spa um <laughs> is is so much more arduous and and life changing. I I couldn't say, but I have put thought to it over the years. the The conclusion that I came to was that you are being crushed underfoot, or perhaps buried underground and resurrected. It's a uh, I don't, I don't know the the metaphor, um, but that that is the 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 explanation I give. Might I might I garner some advice or no wisdom? I think from you. 
you have dealt with many different people over the years and Indeed. provided guidance. What would your approach be to someone who you think has a belief that will lead to distress and pain for them but potentially you could change it before it gets to that point so when you say change their belief it's it's almost that they have utter faith that uh, an object will do as they think it will and will provide the benefits that they think it will someone who's very set on a course of action which perhaps is not the safest or most sensible forcibly changing someone's mind has never worked indeed in my uh, experience what has worked is guidance over a time the people who come here they don't they they stay until there is a day of revelation or a day of healing or a day of recreation there's a lot of time they spend here and a lot of time we get to talk i get to know them and A lot of the work is done before the Day of Revelation. Mm. It's not easy. And if, and if they seem to be a closed book to you, are not willing to have that discourse? Then... Either let it go or find a way to open that book again. Not by force. It is friendship. It is kindness. Mm. Mm. Thank you. Thank you for those words. They don't get quick results. Often they don't get results. But it's the way I've always worked. Hmm. Right, so somebody asked earlier about a story from Beyond the Black Riage. So, <laughs> <laughs> and the camera pulls out as the story's told. We uh, zoom time a little forward. The kind of like tilt shift of the town in motion. The barge moving across and down the last thing, waiting at the side, and we see our uh, our party uh, head back onto the barge, uh, having perhaps. Learned a little about themselves, a little about uh, what perhaps true faith is, about what uh, happiness is, maybe. I don't know. I'm just throwing out words. Um, <laughs> less um, less sci-fi this time, but hopefully still mm. interesting. Um, a lot of wisdom. Nice. Mm. Okay. Maybe. Or maybe just philosophical noodling. <laughs> it's what mm, I do I best. I like an unanswerable question. <laughs> <laughs> It's uh, also partially unanswerable because I don't know the truth myself. Uh, oh, we've got a raid. Mm. Oh, I'm terribly sorry. You've hit us <laughs> right at the very end. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Thank you so much for coming. <laughs> we, we will send you on shortly, uh, so stick around for that. But we're going to go into our little wrap-up spiel going to um, say if you've just raided and you want to watch this mm. <laughs> lj this is yours is, we have a youtube channel chaotic neutral games where all of our shows are archived including this one it this one won't this particular episode won't be up for a little while but like 
Yeah, they they are all up there. Okay. Um, but one day, the other ones are better anyway. <laughs> wow! Because you actually had an answer. Because you had an answer. <laughs> Some of us don't like not having answers. You know that. <laughs> no, no, I'm joking. Uh, it's not our last Numenera session. No, uh, we've got. One. 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 One more. Okay. <laughs> One. I'll try and I'll try and keep the last adventure tight. Uh, <laughs> um, but yes, if you enjoyed our particular brand of chaos and you are new here, uh, go and join our Discord. There's uh, links uh, down below. Uh, there's a lovely chat going on. Uh, all sorts of things happening in there um, when you're paying attention, <laughs> which I haven't <laughs> been honestly for a little while. But I always love having a conversation there. Lots of good stuff. Yeah. Going on. It's a good time. Um, what else have we got this week? Oh, that's me. Yes. Uh, so, sorry. Uh, tomorrow is uh, the Pallid Man Triptych, which is our Mythos horror game. Uh, paintings have come alive. There's a great desire to do a lot of burning of said paintings, and not everybody's agreeing with that course. So, <laughs> who knows what's going to happen? Um, <clears throat> Uh, we do not have a production on Wednesday, but on Thursday it is Cloudgate, which is a Mage the Ascension game. Uh, and wow, one of our party has mm, fallen into enemy hands and there are now consequences Ooh. of actions that have been taken that no, need to be dealt with. Not consequences. I know, cons <laughs> actions. Consequences. And I believe. I'm pretty sure on Friday it should be our homebrew 5e D D uh session, which is like on 140 something, uh, which is the benefactor. Um, all of our sessions start at 8 p.m. Uh UTC plus one time, that's British time. Um and yes, I think that's it. Oh, and we should maybe possibly can't definitely say for sure until about like three minutes before anything happens uh maybe be back possibly next monday for the last the last new manera mm. we've been oh, saying Chris. it's been coming for a while <laughs> but it might be here might be here soon mm. thank you all for watching uh pleasure pleasure playing with you pleasure playing for you Right. Yes, I know. I was going. I was going. No, I, <laughs> I remember this time because we got uh, incoming. Um, yeah, <laughs> check us out on YouTube. Thanks, Dick. Uh, you? Check us out next week. Uh, stick around for the raid. Thank you. Bye. Good night, all. Bye. Bye.